how you healthy humans. Coach M here with Fit for Kids, and for today's lesson, we are going to be talking about polygons. Now, you might be saying, what's a polygon? A polygon is a flat shape, and it has three requirements. So first thing in order to be a polygon is it has to have at least three sides and three vertices or corners. So that means it can have three sides and vertices, it can have five sides and vertices, it can have 20 sides and vertices. It cannot have one or two sides and vertices. Second thing in order to be a polygon is it's made of line segments. That means straight lines, no curves. Third thing, it has to be a closed shape. That means all those line segments connect somewhere and there's no open lines. All right, so you are gonna need a few supplies for this lesson. Now you can do this lesson along with me on the screen, or you can also do this one on your own and send us pictures so we can see what you made. We will be making polygons with food today. So what I used is some asparagus, some carrots, and some cut up celery but you're welcome to use any kind of healthy fruits or vegetables that are looking like line segments to make your polygons. You can also use noodles, dried noodles. You can use toothpicks. Anything that is a straight line can be used to make these polygons. All right, so let's take a look at some of our shapes and see if you can tell me what they are. So here we have a shape with three sides and three vertices. It is a polygon because it has at least three sides and vertices. It has straight line segments and it is closed. This is a special kind of polygon because it is called a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. When we look at this shape, it has two line segments and one vertice. However, it is also not a closed shape. Therefore, it is not a polygon. Now we're gonna take a look at some names of different polygons. Look at this polygon. Can you count how many sides are on this polygon? Five sides, five vertices. What is the name of a polygon with five sides and five vertices? It's a pentagon. Count the sides and vertices. Six sides, six vertices. It's a hexagon. Count the sides and vertices. Eight sides, eight vertices. What is this shape called? An octagon. We can remember that because an octopus has eight legs, an octagon has eight sides and eight vertices. Count the sides and vertices. Four sides, four vertices. This is called a rectangle. A rectangle has two shorter sides and two longer sides. Count the sides and vertices. Four sides, three vertices. What kind of polygon is this? Oh, I hope you said it's not a polygon because it's not closed. All the sides do not connect. Count the sides and vertices. Four sides, four vertices. What's this shape called? It's a square. All four sides are congruent or the same length. Count the sides and vertices. Okay. 
nine sides, nine vertices. Do you know what this shape is called? A nonagon. Count the sides and vertices. Eight sides and eight vertices. Do you remember what this is called? An octagon. Count the sides and vertices. Six sides, six vertices. This is a hexagon. Count the sides and vertices. Eight sides, eight vertices. What is this shape called? An octagon. Count the sides and vertices. Nine sides, nine vertices. This is called a Nonagon. Count the sides and vertices. Be careful with this one. Four sides and four vertices. But this one has a special name. It's a trapezoid. Count the sides and vertices. Six sides, six vertices. What is this called? A hexagon. Count the sides and vertices. Seven sides, seven vertices. What is this polygon called? A heptagon. Count the sides and vertices. Three sides, three vertices. What is this polygon called? A triangle. Thanks for joining us today to learn about polygons with our healthy foods. Whether you joined us for the lesson online or you made healthy foods at home. Thanks for moving and learning. And now the best part, we get to have a healthy snack. See you next time. Thanks for moving and learning with us. Don't forget to like this video and follow us for more resources on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and at our website.